You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Haynes versus Manning. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Haynes, you have brought Ms. Manning to court today to prove that you are the father of her four-year-old daughter, Zoe. You say Ms. Manning initially told you that you were Zoe's dad, but now is claiming you are not her father. Is that correct? Yes, Honor. Ms. Manning, you say that Mr. Haynes is not Zoe's dad and believe the DNA will prove that today. You previously appeared in this court with another man claiming to be Zoe's father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Haynes, you say Zoe is your child. Explain. Um, I know Zoe is my child. Um, Miss Manning is keeping her from me because um, she has another um, gentleman in the picture, and that's why I came to you for the answers. So you are convinced? Yes. Beyond a shadow of a doubt that Zoe is your daughter? Yes. <laughs> and so why? Miss Manning um, sent me a picture and I thought it was my son at first. It was actually Zoe. And so I took a, a picture of my son and her, and I compared it, and that's when I thought she was my child. Ms. Manning, you are convinced Mr. Haynes is not Zoe's biological father? Yes, Your Honor. And why do you feel you know that for certain? Zoe was conceived at the end of October, and we had already broken up. And so this picture here is a picture of Zoe? Yes, Your Honor. You sent that picture to Mr. Haynes? Yes. So why would you send a picture of her at all if you know for certain he's not her biological father? Why even send a picture? I've never even told him that he wasn't the father. I just told him there was a possibility he was the father. She said I was the father um, multiple times. Then she also told me she, I wasn't the father multiple times. So first, first, let me understand, what was the nature of your relationship? Um, we first met when I was getting a tattoo, and it was at her um, residence. And we only dated a, for a short period of time until she ended the relationship. So I ended up moving on and got with my ex now, um, my son's mom. Was it a committed relationship when you dated or were you dating other people? It was a committed relationship. Was it a committed state. relationship, Ms. Manning? Yes, Your Honor. I How long after that did you find out you were pregnant, Ms. Manning? Uh, we broke up in the middle of October and I found out in December. That's a lie. Uh, we actually broke up in November of 2013. And you know that for certain? Yes. Because... Uh, it was actually at one of my friends. Um, she just gave birth and we were both at the hospital and we were dating at that time. And so when did you find out you were pregnant, Miss? In Man? December. In December? Mm -hmm. And so when you found out you were pregnant, you say now that you inform Mr. Haynes he was a possibility? I didn't inform him he's a possibility until she was like nine months old. Oh. So you had the baby. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Haynes never knew. Mm -mm. And you had the baby all the way till she was nine months old. Yes, Your Honor. And then you informed Mr. Haynes that he was a possibility. Mm -hmm. What made you send the photo? He asked for a photo of her. Well, and I did not ask for a photo. I didn't even when know When I about told it. him that I was pregnant, he asked for a picture of Zoe, so I sent him a picture of her. And how did you even know she existed if you've never been told? Um, I never knew until after my son was born, and that's when I received the photo, and I thought it was my son. Okay, and when you got that photo, you said, oh, this looks just like my son. Yes. So correct. that made you immediately think, this is my daughter, too. Yes. So, you say he asked for the picture, Ms. Manning. Mm -hmm. You all were just having conversation or he, or he just reached out to you out of the blue and said, I want to see a picture of Zoe. Mm -hmm. How did this happen? If I you... reached out to him. And what did you say? I had a baby and it's a possibility she's yours. Okay. And so, he said, send me a picture. Mm -hmm. And that's what you sent. Mm -hmm. And once he acknowledged that, yes, I believe this is my daughter, what did you say? I've never told him he was the father, and I've never told him he wasn't the father. It's always been, there's a possibility. And the fact that he's waited four years to take a paternity test is what irritates me. And why did you wait four years, Mr. Haynes? The only reason I waited so long is because she kept going back and forth that I wasn't the father, and she's already brought someone to the court and got a DNA test. So that was for, I didn't think it was mine at the time, but now, she, I want the truth. I need the truth. If she's mine, I'll definitely step to the plate and actually um, be there. But Ms. Manning, now, 
You stated it was between him and another man. Mm -hmm. And you were in this courtroom before, and we tested another man, and he was not the biological father. Mm -hmm. So does that automatically mean Mr. Haynes is the biological father? No. So... There's another possibility? Mm -hmm. The other possibility is on, his, on her birth certificate. So are there just three possibilities? Mm -hmm. Or more? Go ahead and tell the truth. Just three. So and... one we already tested. Mm -hmm. The second is on her birth certificate. Mm -hmm. And the third is Mr. Haynes. Yes, Your Honor. Did you know about the third possibility, Mr. Haynes? No, I did not until I found out last um, year when I seen on her Facebook saying that she was in this courtroom with the other guy. Well, that was the first. I'm talking about the third is the oh, one on her yes, birth certificate. Yes, I knew about him once I found out that sh she changed her mind saying that it's him. But up until that time, you just thought you were the only option and the guy that was tested previously in this courtroom? Yes. Lauren Lake here giving you five seconds to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Five, four, three, two, one. Have you tried to be a father at all to Zoe, Mr. Haynes? Have you been a part of her life? She's four. I have. I have that tried to reach out to her. Um, I have lie. talked to her once, and when I did talk to her, Miss Manny told me not to mention that I was the father. She just told me to keep... Um, I'm a family friend of the family, so... And how old was she when you talked to her? Probably going to say around two. And you've made no attempt since that time to see her? Because I, for the longest time, I was not the father, and I did not have her cell phone number. So, Mr. Haynes, you submitted a timeline to the court. Will you please step over to the yes. monitor and explain to the court what this means? So, March of 2014 is when I received the photo of Zoe, but like I told you guys just previous, that I thought it was my son. Then I found out it wasn't. And you felt like she sent you the picture because she was your child. Yes. So you're thinking you are the father. Yes. Okay, move on. Then in um, May, around May, I should say, of 2014 was when I first seen, got the Facebook message saying that I was not the father. Based on what information? Because that's when the father that's on the birth certificate, that's when she told me about him. Okay, so in early 2015, what happened? That's when I got unblocked from her, and that's when I received a message from her saying that I was the father again. Ms. Mm. Manning, did you write him back and say, now you are the father? No. In early 2015? No. So you just think he's making all this up? I've never told him he was the father if he wasn't the father. It's always been there's a possibility between you and my ex. So what happened November 2015? Um, that's when I received the last message um, that I was not the father. Kinda what did she say in this message? Hey, on second thought, you're not the father. <laughs> yes, pretty much in that words. So y you've heard you are the father, you are not the father. You are the father, you are not the father. Yes. Why do you think she's doing this? What's her motive? She likes to play mind games. <laughs> and she don't know who the actual real father is. You can step back to your podium. Ms. Manning, what is your relationship with the other possible father? He has no rights to Zoe. I have full custody. And this is the man that's on her birth certificate? Mm hmm Okay. Does he believe he's her biological father? When I gave birth to her, he signed a paper that said he believed Zoe was his child. I want to hear from your witness, Mr. Haynes. Please step up to the podium, ma'am. State your name for the record. Diane Wickwire. Miss Wickwire, you are what relation to Mr. Haynes? He's my boyfriend. He's your boyfriend. Yes. All right. And so, Miss Wickwire, talk to me about this particular paternity situation. First off, What testimony Honor, do you have? We've been together for two and a half years. She has repeatedly <laughs> sent him messages saying that he is the father and ha isn't the father. She's dragging him through hell, pretty much. When he is the father, he's Honor, happy and wants to... I don't understand take... how I'm dragging him through hell when it's been, there's a possibility, let's get a DNA test. Okay, so, Ms. Wickwire, you're reading these messages. Yes, I am, Your Honor. He's sharing them with you. Yes. 
And what is her reasoning behind saying he is, he isn't, he is, he isn't? It's, Why would she be going back and forth? It seems like every time she gets a new boyfriend, it's or it breaks up with her boyfriend, it's his. Your Honor, okay. my, my thing is, is where, where is this proof that I have said you are and you are not the father? Because I feel like if I have said that, he would have kept it. And how did it get over my head? Actually, they've had a conversation where she said that I may have said that only because I'm angry at you. Oh. And that was actually that th that was like three days, days ago. ago. Did you ever admit to that, Miss Manning, that, look, I may be saying these things because you're getting on my last nerve, I'm angry, and I'm just mad, and sometimes I don't want to be bothered with you, so I say you're not the father. I did tell him that I might have said it out of anger. All right. See, that's what we're here to get, is the truth. I've been talking now for 20 minutes just trying to get down to that one piece of truth. And you could have saved me... <laughs> a lot of talking in circles by just saying... Sometimes our relationship is so annoying or so bad or we're so angry at one another, I tell him he's not the father because that's why he's standing up here saying that you said you are the father, you are not the father, then you are the father, then you are not the father, so that he does not understand if he is or if he isn't, but he believes he is. Whew! <laughs> so have you encouraged a relationship between Mr. Haynes and Zoe? No. You have not. Mm -mm. And why is that? I would rather have proof that he is her father instead of them building a relationship and him not being the father. So his gut tells him that he is her biological father. Your gut tells you he is not. Yes. You really believe it's the man that's on the birth certificate <clears throat> who's already acknowledged paternity but, but has allowed you to have full custody and doesn't really want to be a part of raising her. Yes. And Mr. Haynes, she broke up with you in November. Yes, at the hospital, by the way. And too. then Zoe was born in August. Mm -hmm. Yes. If we backtrack, that timeline would point to you. Yes. You've done the math, I presume. Yes, I did. Have you done the math, Ms. Manning? Yes, <laughs> I have. Did it point to Ms. Mr. Haynes? No, Zoe was conceived in October. How long were you two together? We were together from October 14th uh, a little over two weeks, I should say, from October 14th, 15th to November 3rd. If you're saying, Ms. Manning, that Zoe was conceived in October mm -hmm. and you were with Mr. Haynes in October, <laughs> how can you even be certain that he's not? Or are you just saying that because you are angry at him, which I don't understand why you're so angry at him because you broke up with him, right? <laughs> What is this about? I got together with him in a break between me and my ex, which is the one on the birth certificate. And I broke up with him because I didn't want to drag him on. All right. Despite what your gut says to you, do you yes. hope Mr. Haynes is her biological father? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. So even though your gut says to you, you do not think he's the father, your heart says, I hope he is, because I want her to have someone who wants her. Aww. What are your hopes, Mr. Haynes? I just want to find out the truth because it's been almost four years of going back and forth that I'm the father. So I just want the proof. And you want to be her father? Yes. Ms. Manning, it's been a long road. It's been four years. And he's admittedly not been around, so you've been carrying this burden by yourself. So as you look at your little girl, and she's at an age now where she knows there's a mommy and a daddy, usually in a family or something, and everybody else has a daddy, and where's mine? And what, what, what do you tell her? Do you tell her anything about daddy? I just... She hates it. She hates it. Everybody else has dads, and she don't. But I don't know how to explain that to her. Well, she's too precious <laughs> not to have the love of a father in her life, if it's possible. All right. Let's get these results. Jerome. <laughs> these results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Haynes versus Manning. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. When it comes to four-year-old 
Zoe. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Haynes, you are not the father. That's all I needed to know. Sucks that Zoe don't know her real dad. Maybe she should just get the other guy tested that's on the birth certificate. Ms. Manning? Yes, Your Honor. Are you positive that the man on the birth certificate is her biological father? Are you sure there are no other options? No, We've no come option. this far. This is your second time here. This is the second time we've determined the potential father is not the biological father. The only one left is the one you say doesn't want to be involved. And I feel sad for Zoe. Me too. Are you going to reach back out to him? No, I can't. So we've got some work to do, okay? It may not be now. Now may not be the right time. But at some point, Zoe does deserve to know who her biological father is and that he's out there. And you're gonna have to step up and you, you, you're a very young girl, but you're gonna have to be a mother for your child. She's counting on you, okay? All right. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned.